Yo, it's your boy AJ. I'm here with Rage. The Brooklyn Nets have signed some free agents. Is Sean Marks cooking? Make sure you guys hit that like button. You're now tuning in the Nets Kingdom. Nets Kingdom. Yeah, man. So coming off that free agency stream, man, you know, the Nets cooked up a little bit. We got some signings. Um, got to change up that intro. Some yeah, of you know, some of those guys are gone. You know, some of the legendary guys are gone. You know, we got rid of Joe Harris, freed up the money. Utah. Got rid of Patty Utah. Mills. Patty Mills is gone. DDJ is a free agent. So cleared up some guys. Some guys are not here no more. But the first news we got was the Dennis Smith Jr. news. The Brooklyn Nets signed Dennis Smith Jr. to about a vet. I think it was a vet man. A one year uh to about two million or somewhere around there. Um, what was your kind of first reaction before we get into Dennis Smith Jr. stats and how is he gonna affect the team? What was your first re- reaction when you saw Dennis Smith Jr. is a Brooklyn net? It was a positive. I was honestly pretty excited. He was one of the better backup point guards in the league this past year. Yeah. And ultimately we have been need we have been um we've been in need for some guard depth. You know, we've been we've needed a backup point guard for a while now. It's been it's been talked about and we that was one of our needs. And we picked it up in Dennis Smith Jr. Like um that was that was a really good that was a good that was a good first signing, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, because I at first, you know, I know like Dennis Smith Jr. was brought up on Twitter and I wasn't a huge fan of it because of the shooting. And then I would like I didn't really watch Dennis Smith Jr. a ton. Um, but the more highlights I watched, I was like, because the first things that when I wanted a backup point guard, I wanted a guy that could defend at the point of attack, a guy that can play make, come in and play make and facilitate at a high level. Um, that's what was most important to me with the signing of a backup point guard. So when we got Dennis Smith, I was like, hmm, I seen he averaged um, around four or five assists. And then I'm watching his highlights and I'm like, oh, he's athletic. And he was defending at a high level, like ripping guys, um, getting transition buckets, you know, everything we kind of got from Sumner at a certain point of level. And, and then, but it, it was kind of the thing with Dennis Smith Jr. is the athleticism is just unbelievable. Like Sumner was, uh, I think he was coming off the Achilles, so we didn't really get his full, you know, because he's athletic too, but Dennis Smith was. I'm talking about you. See, you, you see this? He's 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 dunking on Andre Drummond like it's nothing. Like look at <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So it's like I was really excited. Like okay, maybe we got something here. But the only thing is, he is a small point um, guard. What was his stats for the year? Uh, eight point eight points per game, three point one rebounds, four point eight assists, mm. and he shot forty one percent from the field, twenty two from three, mm. seventy four from the line. 74 from the line, yeah. So, wait, how much from three? 22. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. So, 22% from three. That's the only kind of shaky feeling I have about Dennis Smith Jr. Because if he comes in, let's say he does come in, right, and he's facilitating, he's getting guys in their spots, he's defending at a high level, but it's that point in the game where they're going to back up. You know, they're going to double team somebody and then they're going to be like, oh, pfft, we're backing up on Dennis Smith Jr. He's not shooting. kind of like how they do Ben Simmons. We're backing up on this guy. He's not. Yeah, gonna- but at least Dennis Smith will attack the paint. Yeah, that's the thing. Dennis Smith will actually go downhill. Um, And then at his size, 6'2", it's like, you know, it gets a little tricky at that point. But it's I guess would you, what would you rate him as a free agent signing? Would you rate um, Sean Mark signing Dennis Smith? That's like an eight and a half out of ten. Like that. That's, that's that's a that's a uh, uh, and like that's a that's a that's a good move. I can't really down it at all. Like that's yeah. that's good. Obviously, he's not like obviously he's just a backup point guard. But you that's that's the moves we that's the moves we've been needing to make for ever ever since Sean Marks, you know, got put in that position. Ever since like twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. Ever since we got the stars, we never made the little moves. Now, yeah. now we have a regular team, and now we're making the little moves again. 
Yeah. So that's that's it's good. a it's a low risk, high reward because it's a one year vet minimum deal and you can just cut him if he does terrible, you know. And, if he, or, and, and it doesn't really hurt you if he doesn't play because he's a vet minimum contract. Like yeah. it it is what it is. We yeah. had a lot of those last year who didn't play. It is, you know. Yeah, I think he's gonna bring a lot to well, like I said, a lot of people on Twitter were like, Well, he's we have Sumner, there's no point of, of Dennis Smith Jr. Da 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 da. Um, I mean that's true at some point. I mean, but like I said, it's it's a, a different dimension because of his athleticism and his playmaking. I think is probably the playmaking between Sumner and Su- and Smith is night and day. Like yeah. like obviously Sumner was a good defender as well, but mm-hmm. like Smith is one of the better point guards. But one of the best. He is one of the best defending point guards in the league. He's one of he he's at that point. Yeah. So and that's he's not, and he's only twenty five. That's the thing. I, I thought he, he was, was older. Consistent and he and Dennis Smith was getting consistent minutes. Like Dennis Smith was at a point where he could like he was gonna go play football. He literally yeah. said that he was gonna go play football, and then he got his opportunity and he proved himself. Yeah. So I think it's another prove it year for him. So I think he's gonna play with a chip on his shoulder. So we're gonna go to the next signing. So we got the other signing. Another six five. Was he six five? Six six four. four. Six, six four. four. Um, I guess you would label him a wing guard, guard combo guard, guard wing. Guard wing. Lonnie Walker, the savior, the guy who saved LeBron's legacy <laughs> in game. What was it? Game three of the series. Lonnie Walker of the yeah the Warriors series. That's what it was. Um, we saw Lonnie Walker, and the first time you know, Lonnie Walker wasn't really on my radar. Like it was a surprise signing. Like I was like, meh, meh on this signing because I remember what he did in that game. And I'm like, well, he, he microwave score. He was cooking this. He's cooking stuff. He was cooking the Warriors in this one game. But when I talked to some Lakers fans, they were like, he's a good um, point of attack defender and he's a microwave kind of, he can keed up quick, but he's very inconsistent. That's what, he, that's what they said. Like he's, he gets really inconsistent at times, but what was your reaction to Lonnie Walker? Were you, <laughs> were you like happy, sad, or just like whatever? It was like it was like I was like a happy surprise. I was like mm. Lonnie Walker is solid. Like that's a we've been you know we're in need of a, some bench pieces. Mm. You know we just got rid of Mills. We got rid of Harris. So we're like we're looking at it, and you know obviously like I was like more expecting like of a big. And I was like, you know, you know, Mark said we need to get bigger this offseason. Yeah. And that's ultimately after we got Dennis Smith, I thought our 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 point was going to be in the direction of a center. Yeah. But we looked we looked towards the guard and I was like, I was like, hmm, it was like unexpected. Like you said, I didn't expect us to get another guard, but yeah. Lonnie Walker's solid. And I think that's a that's a good signing as well. It's just yeah. interesting to see, like, with the with the signing of Walker, um, another another score. What is Cam Thomas and Dennis Smith as well? Like, mm. will Cam Thomas, you know, get a uh, what will Cam Thomas's minutes look like? Yeah, because it's, it's like with Lonnie, bro. And I was more down on this signing because it kind of just was like it just felt redundant to me. Like, we have some we have guards already. Well, I'm not gonna say we have a ton of guards, but we have Sumner, Cam Thomas, um, and then they got Roy sometimes playing guard, Spencer Dinwiddie. And then you know we just signed DSJ, so it's like the Lonnie part of it. I was expecting I was expecting Sean to go for a rebounding power forward or a center or a stretch five, that type of mold of archetype that I wanted him to sign next. And I got Lonnie, and this is no shade to Lonnie because Lonnie is solid. You know he's not like he's a terrible player. What was his uh, stats this year? Eleven point seven points per game, two rebounds, one point one assists mm-hmm. on 45, 36, 86 splits. Thirty six. That's that's not bad. That's not bad for a role player off the bench. If he's giving you 11 on, what, 36 from three? Yeah. And he's a good foul shooter, that's solid. You know what I'm saying? That's solid. It's just that, you know, it's it's more guard depth that we needed. I mean, I guess you could say we needed because who knows what's going to happen with this Damian Lillard trade, which we'll talk about in another pod. But with Lonnie, it's like, where do you see him in, in, in his role with the Nets? Do you see him getting... 15 minutes, quick minutes. Do you see him kind of stepping over Cam Thomas minutes? And, you know, are they going to play Lonnie and DSJ together? Or is it going to be, you know, how you see, yeah, how you see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll see it. I, I'll yeah. see. I'll, I, I think I think him and uh, I think Lonnie Walker and DSJ will both be coming off the bench. But I think he'll be, uh, like, I, I think he'll be just a score for us off the bench. Mm-hmm. 
I, I feel like he he might be one of I, I think he will be in the rotation and I see him like getting like 10 10 15 like like 10 12 minutes a game yeah. just off of just based off of my assumption mm-hmm. but he, I mean you know he's, he just he just dropped like what 12 points per game mm-hmm. I think maybe he maybe he gets more mm-hmm. but right now I think like like a 10 12 minute per game guy getting yeah. you know on solid numbers yeah We'll see. We'll see what Lonnie, because you know what I'm saying? Lonnie can heat up real quick. We saw the 15 points in the fourth quarter save LeBron's legacy, you know, uh for that for that Warriors series. Yeah, maybe, Steph. maybe maybe like fifth, maybe like 15 minutes per game. He averaged 23 on the Lakers. So I mean, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's maybe maybe 15. Who knows? Maybe he sees 20. I don't know. It's interesting. We'll see you because if we don't know if Cam's gonna be on the move, because it's like it just pushes Cam down, and then you know, we just signed uh Whitehead. So that's another kind of guard. Yeah, we do in. have Whitehead drafted. Yeah, so he if he comes back, it's like you got DSJ, um, Dariq Whitehead, you got Lonnie, all kind of like the same kind of. Spencer well, Dinwiddie. Yeah, like Lonnie and DS uh, and Dariq are kind of like the same because they're like combo guard wings. Again, D, um, Dariq is more of a taller wing and a combo guard, but it's. It's you know it's just it, like I said it's it, this is why I was more down on the Lonnie signing because it just felt redundant a little bit a little bit redundant. But what was your grade on this um, Lonnie Walker signing for Sean Marks? Uh, eight. I'll t- I'll give it an A. It was it was okay. it was yeah. good. My was DSJ good. signing, I'm giving him an eight. But this Lonnie signing, I'll give him a seven. I'm giving him a seven for that. Yeah, like I said, it, it's. I'm at this point, bro. It's like is he? Is, I told you before the 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 stream today. I was like, yo. I'm at this point where I'm just I just know Sean Marks is probably not going to get a rebounding big man. He hasn't done it in so long, and it's, all, it's just not the type of GM he is. He doesn't address that position. And he, he said, just, and he said, but like when you, like when the season was over, that he was going to address bit, getting you know getting bigger. Yeah, um, I have a montage is, of is, Sean is Marks. His, clips. Is this idea of getting bigger drafting Clowney and Wilson? Exactly, bro. I have a montage of Sean Marks clips. I'll probably play it in one of these streams. Him saying, yo, we're going to address the rebounding issue every year. Like, it was literally five years in a row. Four or five. <laughs> At the end of the, every season, yeah, we got we to gotta get nastier. We got to address the rebound position. We got to get bigger. He says it every single year at the end of the year. And it never happens. Never. So it's like, I'm at that point where I'm just like, you know, I saw Obama got signed today. I'm like, you know, it is what it is. Like, if we don't get one, I'm, it's Sean Marks. I'm like, we're just expecting it at this point. We're expecting not to get a big. <laughs> we're just expecting it. Um, but make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. We'll be back. We'll be dropping more content. You know, we'll see what happens with this Damian Lillard and Tyler Hero talk next pod. Appreciate you guys.